Hi and welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to show you how to design YouTube cover art in Adobe Illustrator. We're going to design that to the different sizes of different devices such as TV, tablet, desktop and mobile. Like some of the other videos I've got on this channel I've created a handy download for you to use. It's got all the sort of guides and safe zones already set up so you don't have to do all the setup. So go check that out and download that file for free. Without further ado let's just jump straight into the tutorial. So once you've downloaded your uh, Illustrator file from the first link in the description, you'll have a file that looks like this. You'll need to open your layer panels um, to be able to flick through the different layers we've got. Um, but this is what you'll see. You'll need to also turn on your guides to be able to see your guides. So um, go to view and guides if you can't see these guides here. So basically, all the different areas which you see in front of you now are all the different safe areas, basically. So this TV is what will show on your TV if you did a design which fit the entire area. Desktop, obviously, is for desktop or computer. So anything that's in this box here, this outer box, is for your desktop. Tablet is this one here. And um, this is your desktop minimum and mobile, which is here. To be perfectly honest with you, when it comes to designing cover art, the most successful thing that you can do is to put all the essential information in the text and logo safe area. So if you've got a logo, you've got any text that describes anything or tells people about your channel in any way, just put it in the text and logo safe area. It is as simple as that. So here's an example of a tech channel that I've created uh, for this tutorial. Around the outside, you've got sort of tech stuff like a laptop, uh, a tablet and a mobile phone and in this safe zone in the middle we have got all the essential information this is the kind of logo and the sort of description of what the channel is about so as I say keep all the essential stuff in this area here so the next thing we're going to do is to jump in and we're going to design a cover art from scratch using this file so back inside Illustrator here I've just got the file open and I'm going to turn off some of these layers. Um, I'm just going to turn off this safe areas text layer and we're going to add some information into this safe zone here. So I'll create a new layer. I'm going to add my logo to this. I've got a logo here for my company, Hive of Many. I'm just going to copy and paste this logo into my document. So I'll change that to white straight away because it's on a dark background. And I'm going to resize that slightly. I'm going to put it on the left. I'm going to keep everything within this uh, zone in the middle here. So I've got my logo there. I'm going to add some text to describe what the channel is all about. As I've got this text already in the font, I'm just going to copy that across by dragging and clicking Alt. So my channel is about um, brand development. It's also YouTube tips, design tutorials, and tips for business owners. There are the four sort of key areas that I concentrate on this channel. So I'm just going to bring the text size down, maybe change the weight of the font as well. A bit of spacing. So that's the kind of main aspect. And you could literally just leave it as that if you, and export it if you really wanted to. But we're not going to do that. We're going to add some other bits to it as well. Um, we're going to add some sort of shapes, a little bit like this shape here around the outside in some different colors. We've got a shape here. We're just going to round the corners just slightly, just kind of slight so it matches my logo. I'm going to change the color uh, and drop this into kind of the background. Just gonna just make a, a small pattern really. Almost repeated across the page. Some in yellow. What I'm gonna do is grab that and reverse it. I'll flip it. So here we go, object, arrange, align, transform actually. Reflect. And I'm gonna align that this outside here I'm going to do the same with this lot you can see it's already starting to come together I'm going to create another one of these in the middle make it bigger 
just outside of that central area. So there you have it, that's just a really basic design uh, for my Hive of Many channel. It tells you what the channel is about, it's got the logo on there. I could add my face on there if I really wanted to, I could add a picture of myself, I could budge all this stuff over. So that's the image of myself added to that as well. There's probably one last thing I would add, which is my name as well. Uh, so I'm going to drag that up, bring this over by Alt and Drag. I'm just going to put with all green. Turn that to yellow. Then after a little bit of tweaking, um, you can see that we've got something fairly decent. We've got my name, got the company name, um, what the channel's about and the picture. So that is now ready for exporting. So that's one example of how you can create a YouTube cover art in Illustrator. But I'm gonna create another one now, but this is gonna be a slightly different. We're not gonna use words or logos. We're just gonna use images. So I can show you where you need to place these images again in these safe zones. So back in Illustrator, we've got this same file again. So we're gonna switch off these safe text ones and we're gonna create the artwork within this band all the way across the middle. So I've taken a little bit of going and downloading some images. These would kind of be your images from your channel. Um, we're gonna do like a camper van, camper van lifestyle channel. Um, we're just going to use some images, but we're going to stack them across in the middle here. So we've got very much the, the same tone of image, and this is all going to make up some kind of collage. Just going to scale these down and position these, and I'll show you another example where we could maybe use a logo. The next thing we're going to do is to change the colour of this background. So if this background is going to be used on maybe the TV mode, we could maybe incorporate some of the colours um, by using the eyedropper. Um, and sort of sampling one of the colours. You'd normally have like brand colours anyway, um, and you'd probably go off what the brand colours are. But in this example, we're really not looking at the brand colours, we're just sort of sampling the images. Um, I'd imagine if you were this guy in this van, your brand colours might reflect the colour of the van. So we're just going to use this, maybe this turquoise colour, or maybe a bit slightly darker or lighter than this turquoise colour, and that seems all right there. So I'm going to add a little white outline to this, um, these photographs to make them look like the kind of a photograph style uh, that should sort of help it pop from the background. So they have a really simple photo style sort of collage which would suit maybe a van life, camper van style, adventure, vlog, um, going out with friends kind of style YouTube channel. It would be really easy as well to be able to replace this middle image and add a logo. I'll quickly show you how that would look by the power of YouTube. So there you go, you've got the logo in the middle now. I've called it Camper Life with Ed and Connie because I see this channel been something around going out there living in a van seems to be all the rage at the moment um, so van life so there you go there is another channel artwork example designed in Adobe Illustrator so this is the third and final quick tutorial how to create your cover art in Illustrator if all else fails simply follow this little bit of a tutorial it is super quick it takes no time at all and if you can think of what else to do honestly just just do this so we're going to use unsplash so we go to the unsplash website and let's for example say you had a fitness channel type in fitness and find a suitable fitness um, image that represents your channel if it was like an outdoors channel so outdoors Find a suitable outdoor image that represents the kind of thing that you do on your channel. It might be that you've not done any photography with you in it just yet, and you might be able to find something which just sort of describes what your channel is all about. So I'm gonna choose this image here. Once you've found an image that you are happy with, click on download free, 
click download and remember to credit the photographer by clicking this little copy button and adding that to your YouTube description. So we're back here inside our document and it's time to just turn off some of these layers that we don't need and we're going to bring in that image. So we brought in the image and we're just resizing it to fit with the document and I really chose this image because it works on a whole when it comes to the entirety of the image but it also fits within this safe box here and I thought this would be a great place to put some kind of quote across the middle which kind of represents the adventure channel that we're building this uh, cover art for. So I found a really nice quote by Tolkien, so J.R.R. Tolkien and we're going to add this to the middle section here because it kind of represents a little bit about adventure. So we've added that text now to the middle and it doesn't quite pop off the background um, but what you can see is we've added it within this safe zone right in the middle um, we've used the align tool to make sure it's perfectly aligned with the artboard in the middle of that as well so what i'm going to do now is make it pop off the background by just adding a little sort of cast over the top of this image so what i'm doing here is basically i created a new layer and I've just added a rectangle and with that rectangle I've just added a black to it and I'm just um, up in the opacity from zero until I can see the text pop without getting rid of too much of that lovely background image. So there's our third and final piece of cover art for YouTube. This cover art would suit an adventure channel, some kind of adventure vlog. All there is left to do now is to export these ready for uploading to YouTube. To do that, it's pretty simple. File, export, save for web. And then I like to use the maximum JPEG settings at 100% and press save. If your file is over the recommended amount, you could always drop the quality down. I wouldn't go any lower than 60, but as you can see, if you go down to 60 it lowers the size of the file but I like to use 100% click save save that to your computer ready for upload head into the back end of YouTube so studio.youtube.com go to the customization settings on the left hand side go into branding the middle one there you've got your banner image click upload and upload your artwork to there so once you've uploaded it to YouTube, it should look like this on your channel. This is what we did right at the very beginning. Did the first Hive of Many one, followed by the Camper Life one. So this is how the Camper Life one looks now it's uploaded. And the last one is the Adventure one with the Tolkien quote in the middle of it as well there. So that's just about it from this video guys. Just a quick reminder, if you want to get your hands on that Adobe Illustrator file with all the sort of guides set out for you that you can get cracked on with straight away, Head to the first link in the description and you'll get that email to you. If you did get something out of this video, please hit the like button. It helps to show this video to more like-minded people. If you want to help my channel grow as well, hit subscribe, turn on notifications. I am trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of 2022. So please help me on my quest. One last thing to say is thank you very much for watching this video. There's plenty more content on this channel. I'll leave a couple of cards in relation to sort of design and YouTube at the end of this video. But thank you very much for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye for now.